Now, shocking case this. Eleanor Williams has been sentenced to eight and a half years in prison at Preston Crown Court for perverting the course of justice. The 22-year-old woman had falsely claimed that she was the victim of an Asian grooming gang and made a series of false rape allegations. In May 2022, she made a post on Facebook stating that she had been beaten, abused and trafficked by, amongst others, Asian men as well. She shared a photo of herself injured, but the court heard that she had done this with herself, sorry, to herself, with a hammer. Joining me now in the studio is our Home and Security Editor, it's Mark White. Mark, the details of this case are, well, it begs belief, really. Yeah, I mean, these are a complex set of allegations that were made by this young woman over a period of time. Uh, and among other things, she claimed that she had been raped uh, and abused by an Asian grooming gang. That is, of course, an issue that the authorities, perhaps belatedly, mm -hmm. are taking seriously. Um, and, of course, that was the subject of a very detailed investigation because she had gone to the trouble of effectively beating herself up. We can show you mm. a picture on screen for those watching on television. It's, you know, pretty graphic, but it is an illustration of the lengths that this young woman went to, uh, bruising around the eye... Uh, as she had picked up a hammer, mm. uh, she'd bought it in a local supermarket uh, and effectively smashed herself mm. in the face. She'd even cut off uh, a finger uh, to try to uh, give credibility to her story of claiming, you could see the image there, as I say, you know, it, it's not pleasant. And the authorities faced with that took what she said very seriously. Well, you would, you would wouldn't you? You, you? Yeah, you would, wouldn't you? And, and, look, before we move into the potentially bigger picture stuff of this and what it might mean going forward as well, do we know why she decided to do this? There is no reason that has been given and none that have been offered uh, in court. There was psychiatric evidence. Prosecution psychiatrists said that this woman uh, was immature for her age, uh, that she had anger issues, but there was no underlying psychiatric problem. Uh, a defence psychiatrist said that there was delayed uh, or PTSD um, resulting you know, the, from childhood trauma, but didn't give any indication of what this childhood mm. trauma supposedly was. And the judge actually sided with the psychiatrist for the prosecution, but there's no underlying psychiatric issues, no real reason for doing what she did, except to really mess up the lives of a number of men who were falsely accused, including one man called Mohammed Ramzan uh, from uh, Barrow and Furness, a local businessman who had really his business ruined by this, his house targeted uh, by angry mobs, uh, his vehicle damaged, mm. and he tried to kill himself. This is what he said outside Preston Crown Court. All that says, there's no winners here today. I feel no sense of triumph, only sadness. For the loss of the years, the impact on my family, here we are, and the true impact that, that this will have on true victims, that's the loss here, of slavery and sexual abuse. As a father and an uncle, to my amazing girls, this fills me with profound sadness. The word profound, that's profound sadness this is. Only the love and unwavering support, unwavering support of, from my family enabled to me endure this nightmare. They gave me the strength I needed. And she still maintains that what she said is true, right? For the bulk of the allegations, yes, yeah, she still claims that uh, many of these uh, crimes, uh, alleged crimes, did happen. Uh, but the prosecution mm. and the jury, obviously, mm. believe the prosecution are quite clear uh, that they were all made up, uh, that issues where she said that she had been trafficked, uh, that she'd been... they tried uh, her um, traffickers to sell her to Pakistan, that she'd been injected with heroin to make her more compliant as she was, um, you know, made mm. to perform sex uh, with multiple people. Uh, all of that was false. And the bigger picture here, zooming out, look, clearly anyone can acknowledge and should acknowledge that it's 
utterly horrific to be falsely accused of anything, especially this, and the real-life impact that this has had on people involved. Uh, three of them, I think, have attempted suicide. The wider aspect, for me anyway, will be a concern that genuine grooming gang cases are now potentially impacted as a result of this one not being true, being fabricated. Yeah, but, it, I mean, you know, it's not just grooming gangs, though. It's really um, claims made by uh, proper bona fide victims are being undermined uh, by what's happened here. It's not just an allegation mm. that she made against uh, or about being groomed. Uh, she made multiple allegations around multiple people, Asians and young white yeah. men as well, claiming that she'd been raped and sexually assaulted. So what it absolutely does is, you know, uh, cause issues quite mm. rightly, um, uh, not quite rightly, but, you know... No, I know what you mean. Um, it causes issues uh, for other victims of crime who want their allegations to be taken seriously. And it also raises of course, concerns about the way in which those that are accused of serious sexual offences are named. There's been a raging debate for a number of years uh, as to whether they should have the same kind of anonymity that a mm. victim of a sexual offence has uh, until or unless they are convicted of that crime. Because, of course, once that name is out there in the public realm, it doesn't matter that if at some point down the road they're acquitted mm. and not guilty of that particular offence or there was no case to answer in the first place and it doesn't get, even get to court. Mm. These people that have been, been accused of serious offences like this will tell you, you know, many people just still don't believe them. They believe in, you know, yeah. that old adage that there's no smoke without fire, you know, mud sticks, whatever you yeah. want to use. It's very difficult when horrible, serious allegations mm. like this have been made against you to shake them off.